Today's episode of the Complete Sentences podcast is brought to you by nothing. Nothing at all except for listeners like you who take the time and energy to download, stream, or share our podcast with like-minded individuals. And for that, we thank you. Greetings, Ambassadors of the Future. We are coming to you live and in person from CSP Headquarters, Studio E, the point of no return. I am Rocky, and I'm joined by a guest today. Hey, I'm Kenny. <laughs> hey. Yeah, you guys know Kenny. Kenny's been around. He's been around the block a few times. Yeah. it's uh, It's been a while since we had you on, though, man. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. No, I, I always love... Uh, Always love talking with you and catching up, and uh, what better place than on uh, Complete Sentences Podcast? Yeah. So, uh, what's what's been going on with your life, Kenny? Fill me in, dude. Well, not too much is going on. Uh, still haven't really been working. Uh, trying to get things going with a couple different bands, and, uh, well, not... Too much has been going on with that. Um, <laughs> the the one band that I'm in is kind of a 80s metal style uh, mixed with like punk rock. Uh, I, I think I've talked about it here on the show before. Uh, it's called um, They Are Among Us. Okay, yeah, I think I remember you bringing that up. Yeah, yeah. Um, We've been working on recording some songs, getting ready to go into the studio to do a couple of demo tracks. And uh, do you guys mainly do like covers though? Whenever you play, or no, we we try to write originals mostly. Um, every once in a while, we'll start in with a cover, but we never really get serious about doing any covers. Um, Another band that I'm getting started with um, is with uh, another guy named Dave. Um, shout out to Dave. Shout out to Dave, yeah. Uh, he plays guitar and sings, writes his own music, and uh, we're trying to get something started. He's uh, trying to get another guy in on the project who does, like... <clears throat> Uh, DJing and uh, plays piano and all that stuff. Uh, well, speaking of that, dude, that that brings me up. This might jump off topic a little bit, but it's something that I wanted to pick your brain about. Do you own any Apple products at all? Technically, no. No um, iPods, no. I had an iPod that I had found on a parking lot and took home. Uh, bought one of the little charger cords for it and charged it up, and it worked just fine. It had a lot of 80s music on it and stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, I ended up, like, getting a little weirded out. And uh, I, I don't know if it was, like, my schizophrenia or, or what it was, but I ended up taking the iPod and setting it on a table on my front porch and it ended up disappearing, so... Uh, so it sounds like somebody stole it. Probably, <laughs> or, or thought it was a donation for whatever reason. I, I really don't know what happened to it, but I don't really care. Um, most of the products that I own are uh, like Philips or uh, Sansa. 
I had some Sansa MP3 players. Um, I have a Kindle Fire that I use to get on the internet. Okay. Well, the um, well the main reason that I was asking you this is because I hear I believe it was last week. Um, you two released their new album, Songs of Innocence, and. I guess a lot of people didn't realize that they were teaming up with Apple on this, and all of a sudden, anyone that owns any Apple devices, whether it be iPads, iPhones, whatever has a hard drive on it, um, they automatically got this album in their library. It was That's just cool. it was just put in their library, and it's it's cool, I guess. But the thing that wasn't cool about it is there's no way to remove it. Oh, you can't delete U2's new album. So yeah, you cannot delete their new album from whatever device you have. Yeah. Um that's kind of I don't know. Um I really don't know what I would say about that because personally I wouldn't be one of the people trying to delete the album, but uh for those who really wouldn't want it and would want it off of their device, I can understand where they're coming from, I guess. Sure. All right. Well, Kenny, I actually have a special treat for you since I was one of the lucky people that got, I guess you could say, um, a brand new copy of U2 Songs of Innocence. I'm going to play a couple tracks, all right? Just to kind of see maybe what you think of it. That's cool. Got it? All right, Kenny, they call this track Darling One. Here it is. All right, Kenny, so there's a sample of U2's new album, Songs of Innocence. Uh, the song is entitled, what did, what did you say the song was called again? Darling One. That's it. Um, song is called Darling One. What are your opinions right off the bat? Um, I wouldn't pay to listen to it. Right. Sure. But since it's free, uh, yeah, it, it sounds like U2 uh, from the 80s, I would I would definitely go to a free show if they were in town. Well, I'm sure they're going to tour free, I I would imagine, at this point with this album. Um, But yeah, anyone that's as big of U2 enthusiasts as we are, you can tell. um, I believe the guitar player's name is The Edge. Yeah. You can tell the way that he's got his his guitar really. He likes to turn up the side. I'm not sure what effect that he uses. I think it's a type of flange effect. Yeah, flange. Yeah. But it's it's definitely it going. It makes it sound like the sound is on fire. Right. Yes, and it's going full force on this song. Kenny, I got another song I want to play for you if you if you're up to hearing another one off oh, the album. Oh yeah, totally. Okay. This one and I actually would say that this is probably the swan song of the album. Ironically enough, it is entitled Swan Song. Right on. So, um here's a here's a little snippet of that. All right, Kenny, immediate reaction of that one. Uh, absolutely awesome. I can't believe what I've just heard. I, I wonder how they get that edited so perfectly so it sounds like it's it's made to be a snippet on this show, you know? Yeah, oh, I know, man. I think that's why they did it, uh, because it fully, it's it's it really lets the album... Um, play well on the radio and let people yeah. just get an idea of what the yeah, album like is. Yeah, like for those commercials they do, you know, guess who's in town? It's you too. Why not play what a full, they sound like. Why not play a full fucking song? That would be great. Yeah. I would like to write an entire album that can be played in a commercial. That is brilliant marketing. It is. Um, well, while we're doing this, we're having a great time with this, man. I got one more, and I want to show you. This kind of shows you maybe a little different side of you two that I don't think has been seen a lot until this album. Yeah. All right. You want to hear this one? Is it Pale Horse? I thought you said you didn't listen to this album. I didn't, but I read about it. Yeah. Oh, man, that was the big surprise for me was Pale Horse too. So so you're telling me you haven't heard the song, you just read the review of the song. Right. Okay. Um perfect. Yeah, I'm going to play for you Pale Horse and we're going to we're going to check it out. Okay. So 
so that was it, man. That was Pale Horse off of U2's new album, Songs of Innocence. Out now, I should remind you. Uh, what, what are your opinions on that, Kenny? I think it's great. Um, I really like being able to hear the tambourine. I <laughs> think the tambourine is one of those percussive instruments that is not used enough these days, and it's really great that they're using it in one of their songs. I fully agree with that. My favorite part, too, and I know that you and I are both, we, we have musical ears. We can pick up on things in songs. I like the way that they they do have reverb in this song, but most of the time the instruments drown out the reverb, so I like how they get right to the point and then they, they let the song end, and that way you can hear the reverb as the song slowly fades out. Yeah, yeah. So I thought that I thought they really did some some pretty breakthrough shit on this album. Absolutely. In my opinion. And uh like I was saying for anyone out there who owns uh an iPhone or an iPad or even has um an iTunes subscription, just even an iTunes address, look in your library because it'll be there and you can jam out along with Kenny and I on all of these awesome songs. 